On behalf of the stage crew, I'd like to present you with this trophy, remembrance of the occasion. What'd you do to our equipment, for goodness sake? You haven't been here in 20 years. You come in and destroy the place. I screwed it up. No. That's for you. That's for you. It's a trophy. How are you, sir? You know what, this, this is a television thing. You never use these out on the stage. You grab this little thing, and as if by magic, it comes up and disappears. Hi, Ben. Pretty good. Would you introduce me to your friends? OK, Michael Reed. Hello, Michael. Nice to have you aboard. <laughs> on the drums. Tim Berry. Nice to have you here, sir. On bass. Mark Rujan. Thank you, sir. And lastly, over here on guitar. Rick Benick. Thank you, Rick, very much. You know, the last time I saw you was the American Music Awards, and you'd fall into bad company with John Cougar. Now, that boy was here. He stirred up the place. How'd you run into him? A sleazy place. <laughs> <laughs> now, the man is such, he's, he's, he's creepy. He's crawling with so much talent. Yeah. Are you neighbors or something? Well, we're in the tri-state area. I'm from Michigan. Did you know him for a lot of years or something? No. How'd you run into him or vice versa? Uh, a disc jockey got my telephone number to him. Yeah. And we started talking. And then he said, uh, what, you want to reach John Cougar or vice versa? This well, is how you do it? He said, uh, so I'd like to do an album on you. And I said, OK. Now, wait, let's, let's face it. You are, I don't want to embarrass you. In the 60s, you had a ton of big, big popular records. They've been covered by everybody in the world. Here's a young man who comes along, puts you in the studio, and he's going to tell you how to do it. Now, is that a little rough to handle? Not at all. He knew what he was doing. Smart fellow you are. Now, look, you destroyed my microphone. What's the worst thing that ever happened to you on stage? Anything like that worse? Well, worse than that, yeah. I was playing once and uh, had a sport jacket. I laid it down on stage and somebody lit it on fire. On purpose? On purpose. And you had to keep singing? I had to. I was trying to stomp it out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing that ever happened? What's the mo one of the more memorable things in your life? I think the time when I sang with uh, Bruce Springsteen in Detroit. Well, how so? And uh, well, There you are. All right. Yes, yes, you can. Uh, and we sang uh, a medley of uh, tunes that I had made famous in the 60s. He was singing your songs. Yep. You mean to tell me you sat there and that pleased you didn't make you mad? Nope. You're a good man, Mitch Ryder.